Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share with you my February favorites. I cannot believe February is over so quickly. I know it's a shorter month, but at the same time, I feel like January always feels so long and February just flies. So here we are. I have six favorites for everybody, although the girls have one combined favorite. So I think I'm gonna start off with my favorites and then we'll get into the kids. I think that's how we'll do it. So my very first favorite, it's sitting right here. I shared it over on Instagram because I got it for a killer deal, but it's also linkable online, not for the same price, unfortunately. But at my Walmart, they had these Better Home and Garden Throws that were $5 a piece. They were clearance. They were normally $20 and they were clearance all the way down to five. So I got this teal color along with a white one, which is somewhere in my living room. And I love these. So I have a genuine barefoot dreams blanket. I love it. However, this is softer and this is also thicker. So I would have easily paid $20 for this blanket, but if you see your Walmart has them clearanced for $5, they are definitely worth it. I've washed them a few times now. They're holding up really well and they are also pretty big. It's even bigger than my Barefoot Dreams blanket. It's definitely like a one person blanket if that makes sense. But with this, I can share with Mark or the girls or whoever's cuddled up next to me. So I just wanted to put this first and foremost because with the seasons changing, your Walmart in store might clearance these out. And if you see them, they're worth it. And I will also link them online I was looking it up to make sure I could link it for you guys and I think it was $17 so it's a little bit on sale online. So my next favorite is actually my favorite pair of winter boots. So I have two. Years ago I got sick of buying new winter boots every single season because I live in Ohio. We get snow, ice, slush, everything in between and tons of salt on our road. So my boots would get chewed up and used up within like one season. And I was getting really sick of paying that money every single year for new boots that would not last. So I asked for tall muck boots for Christmas, which I wear for when we have lots of snow or if it's super, super icy out, I wear those or negative temperatures. But about three or four years ago, my husband bought me these Sorel boots for our anniversary. These are a little bit more expensive because they are genuine leather. So I think these were around 100 or 150. But when I tell you that I have not bought any new winter boots since getting these in my muck boots, I mean it. So I invested in a couple more expensive pairs of boots, but 100%. These are all I wear. I've worn them for years and years now, but these Sorel ones are leather. I would say anything that is 20 degrees Fahrenheit and up, these are perfectly doable. You know, they have great tread on them. I just can't say enough good things. They are so, so comfortable because they're leather and they wear in. They keep my feet warm. Like I said, 20 degrees Fahrenheit and up perfectly fine with some socks in these. Anything below that, my feet do get a little bit cold if I don't have fuzzy socks on. But I mean, we're talking 20 degrees and below, so I can't complain. But all around, just I love these so much. They're so comfortable great tread. Like I said, winter boots can be expensive, but I feel like it's worth the investment to buy something that you don't have to constantly replace. Speaking of cold weather, I have two hats that I've been constantly wearing. So you guys know that I love my beanies, but these two have been the ones that have stayed in my purse and the ones that I just keep wearing. So I actually just got this one this past week, but I had ordered my own hat from Lime and Linden. I think I've showed Sophie's hat from them before. So she has one. I have one now. This is actually her Holly Berry. This is a design that she came out with around Christmas time, but I love it. Like, like, I don't think this screams Christmassy or anything, even though it definitely can be. I think it'd be appropriate during the season. I love this coral kind of color because that's the color that my coat is for this winter and also green. Love it. So I love this one. It is very comfy. It keeps me warm. And then I also have this Carhartt beanie that I bought and this deep teal color, which this is like my favorite color of all time. And I just absolutely love this one. But if I want something that gives me a little bit more room to breathe, I wear this one. And if I want something a bit more tight fitting, then I go with the Carhartt. But either way, I love both of those hats. They've been doing a really good job. The next thing is something I bought 
kind of on a whim, but my friend Brady, she has her own channel. I'll link it down below. She makes fabulous content, but she had told me that she got this Target Monopoly game for Christmas and she loved it. She said it played a lot faster than traditional Monopoly and I was in Target one day and I, it was just speaking to me. So I went ahead and I got it. So as you can see, there's little baskets, like actual Target baskets to keep your stuff in. You get a Starbucks cup, a Target shopping bag, the Target dog, or a Target shopping cart to choose from for the pieces as you can see up there. Brady loved it so much I wanted to give it a shot and Mark and I really enjoyed it. So it does play a little bit different than traditional Monopoly and my husband definitely says that it is very much an advertisement to get the red card and <laughs> all things Target. I mean it's a Target version so of course but I had a lot of fun with it and so did he and it does play a lot faster. I think a whole game took us about uh, I think about like an hour and a half, maybe even a little less than that. So it is a quick game, but thoroughly enjoyed it. And I feel like it's pretty quality for a board game because the pieces are actually metal, which is really nice because I know the version that my mom had growing up had metal pieces. And I feel like that's really hard to find anymore in the Monopoly versions that I've found. So the next two things are beauty related products. So one was a gift for Christmas and the other one was a gift to myself. So I guess the first one I'll talk about is this one. It's the JVN scalp oil. So I actually got the JVN air dry cream. That's what it's called for my husband for Valentine's day. He's growing his hair out and he's been liking that. It has like a really soft, but firm hold to it. And he's really been enjoying it so far. I don't want to recommend anything yet because he's still testing it out, but so far so good with that one. And it came in a set with another cream and then also the scalp oil. And it's what I've been using. You guys have probably rarely seen it, but I'm sure at some points in my videos you have, I have really dry scalp and it's mostly just around the frame of my face ever since having kids it's something that I've struggled with and most of the time I film my videos right after showering so it's normally pretty good but sometimes you know it happens it's there it's normal everyone has different hair types and also skin types I did have a little bit of a routine but it wasn't anything amazing it wasn't doing great things and like taking care of the problem wholeheartedly so I thought this was very interesting and I've been using this just as it says, a pre-wash. So right before I get into a shower, I drop this just along where I said my problem area is and I rub it in, not with my fingernails, but with my fingertips like this. And I rub around, try not to be too hard or aggressive. And I just kind of let that set as I'm brushing out my hair, I'm getting undressed, I'm getting in the shower and I kind of just take my time and then eventually I go ahead and I wash it. So it has been really great. I've been so happy with the results from this. I'm not going to say it took care of everything 100%, but I would say it is easily done. Like it's made like at least a 70% improvement on my dry scalp, which is amazing. So I'm very, very happy with this. And I'm also trying out their shampoo and conditioner because someone on TikTok said that that helped their dry scalp. So I will report back when I've used that more, but so far really impressed with this scalp oil by JVN, really enjoying it. And it does smell pretty good. And I've also used it in my hands, just on the ends of my hair, like after I've curled it and stuff. And it's really great for that too. Just with any oil, be careful because too much and you look like an oil slick. Next to last thing was one of my Christmas gifts from my best friend. She got me this ultra repair cream from First Aid Beauty. I had literally never heard of it, but she heard me talk a ton about how dry my skin is. And it really is, especially in the winter time. I've said it multiple times on my channel, ever since having kids, my skin just changed and I have some really dry problem areas on my skin. I just have combination. I have dry patches. I have oily patches. I have patches that are completely fine and right in the middle. So I have combination skin, but this, oh my gosh. Well, first of all, I looked up how much this costs and it's mind blowing, but damn it, if it isn't worth it. And I hate saying that because it is like easily 40, $50 for this lotion. But guys, unfortunately it's worth it. Like I don't want it to be worth it. That is a ridiculous amount of money, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that I've seen a drastic change in my skin. First of all, the problem areas on my skin 
have been completely fine since using this. They're moisturized, they're not dry, they're not itchy or rough or anything like that. So amazing. And then I was trying to find a good moisturizer for my face after I got out of the shower. Right on the back, it says the calming formulation may be used on face and elsewhere. So I started using just the littlest amount because a little does go a long way with this stuff, even though more than half of my bottle is gone. I don't know if you can see that, but I can in the sunlight and it's terrifying because I know I have to buy this again soon. But I've been using a tiny bit on my face and it has made my skin so amazing on my face too. I've started taking it down my neck. I've started like bathing myself in this after a shower. I know it's expensive, but the things it's done for my skin, amazing. Amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So unfortunately, I will be buying more of this when I run out of it. It's not very often that I will sit here and I will be like, oh yeah, this hair or beauty or makeup product or skin product is definitely worth $50. I can't think off the top of my head anything that I have that is that expensive, like product wise, I, I can't think of a single thing. This unfortunately is. So I will be buying more of it but I just, I could not not mention it because I have literally used this every time I get out of the shower and it has honestly improved my skin. Like I said, it's one of those things where I hate to recommend it because it is so expensive and I would have never bought something like that for myself, but now my best friend has me hooked. Okay, and my last favorite for myself is bookoutlet.com. So I've talked about kidsbooks.com before. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I just spend ridiculous amounts of my own money there. So I've used kidsbooks.com to get discounted kids books before. I've talked that site to death. Still recommend it, still love it. Bookoutlet.com is basically the sister site. It's the same site, it's just more gravitated towards adult books. It includes adult books and it does also have the kids books. So if you want a place where you can buy everything, go to bookoutlet.com. But I have bought more books from there for myself actually and I just can't recommend them enough. As much as I love kidsbooks.com, I love bookoutlet.com. I also love Book Outlet because I can order from Walmart so I get free shipping because I'm a Walmart Plus member. I feel like they also come a lot faster when I order them from Walmart. That could totally be me making it up but I did recently ordered these three books. So this book I actually got from the library and I wanted my own copy because a favorite book now. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong. And then I got this book and the only thing is just that black little dot on top. And then I got my first Karen Slaughter book and again nothing wrong. Oh I'm sorry I misspoke. There's a little sharpie line down at the bottom of the book that I literally would have never noticed if I hadn't looked for you guys. But that is it. And these were all I think $10 and under for hardcovers. It's a deal. So, and not only that, but normally it's even less than that, or they have deals and all kinds of stuff. I want to recommend bookoutlet.com because I've been buying quite a few books on there and I can't not mention it. So I'm going to move on to the big girls. So the very first thing I have to mention and just put it out there because they're obsessed with it right now is Minecraft. Nothing new, nothing revolutionary. I'm sure you've heard of it and my kids are obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. I will say I really like this game because it allows them to be creative and to change game modes and stuff, but they're not online with other players. So they can play with each other and we have that set up. And we also have like this little thing going where we can have our own little world and we can all play on different formats, but random people can't join in. So I really like this. It feels like a safe like intro to gaming that is technically online, but at the same time safe. I love it for them because they love it so much. The next thing I just, you know, I can't not mention this because I feel like this is all they wear anymore. I don't even know why I buy traditional clothes, but we homeschool. We're here most of the time, especially in January when Omicron was running rampant. We made a uh, effort to hunker down here. So my kids only ever wear their dress ups. So I would say our favorite is probably jo Taylor Joel. Love that small shop. I also think that the owner, the founder, she has really great ethics and she's a great person herself too. But 
I personally tend to gravitate a little bit more towards their designs versus other people's, but there is tons of shops like this, Taylor Joel, Only Little Once, and I'm missing another one that we shop from frequently, but it's not coming to me. But there's a lot of people who make their own kind of Disney inspired dresses. Obviously all the names are a little bit cheeky and you can figure out what's supposed to be what character. <laughs> but so this is Sophie's uh, Sally dress that she got for Halloween. This one is actually from Only Little Once. A lot of these shops have the same characters, but different designs. So I personally just go for whatever design I like more because they're all roughly the same price. These are more expensive. They're like between 40 to $60, depending on what you're getting and like the length and all that other stuff. So yes, it is definitely more expensive than a traditional costume. But when I tell you that my girls live in these, because we probably have like, I don't know, something between like eight to 10 dresses at this point from various shops. They literally wear these unless I specify that they need to wear different clothing or I'm washing all of them or something like that because this is their go-to. They're comfortable. They wear really well. We've only had a couple that I've had to repair. So like this Elsa one Sophie got a couple years back for her birthday and right here started to tear, but I think it's because she's slowly growing out of this one. So it's just a little tight across there, but I repaired it and that's the beauty of these things because it's actual fabric. You can repair it, you know, if a tear or something like that happens, but this is actually a couple years old. Sophie lives in this Elsa dress even still to this day, but they are so comfy for them. They love them. And while I understand that they're not the most affordable, I could not not mention it in the favorites because I feel like that's all they wear currently. Like I have to specify what I want them to actually wear clothes. But the next thing is also a game. Mark got this for one of his Christmas presents and the kids have really enjoyed it. So it's Mario Party Superstars. So we have Mario Party and the kids love it, but it's more strategic. There's more to it than just the mini games. However, this has literally all the Mario Party mini games. It says a hundred of them and you just pick whatever ones you wanna play. There can be a little bit more to it if you want there to be, but personally, we just take turns picking mini games and it's a lot of fun. It's like really quick and easy, and that way you don't have to start something that won't be finished for like an hour or two, because there are nights where they wanna play Mario Party, but we just don't have that amount of time. But this is really nice, we can pop it in, we can play like five mini games, everyone gets to pick one, and then we're done for the evening. So it's really cute. It's a lot of fun. It is newer, but the kids have really loved this because like I said, it's just a little bit more kid friendly, I guess. And the next thing, again, I can't not mention this, even though again, not riveting, LOL dolls. So I'm going to link you a similar container. I think I got this one. I did get it from Michael's. I remember. Yeah. I was in there looking for some kind of decorations, but yeah, I got this from there. So this bottom part is where they keep all the dolls at and also like the pets and the babies. And then up here is where they keep all the shoes and the clothes and like the small stuff. So it's like a little organizer. It doesn't hold all their stuff. They also have the two little bins that came from the Christmas toys that we got them. If you watch that video, you know what I'm talking about. They got the LOLs that were like fizzies and it came in a container itself. And we kept both of those containers so they have even more stuff in those. But these are really great containers. In my personal opinion, I would have got the bigger one if I knew how wide this collection would expand. But they have even bigger versions, like really tall ones. And if your kid's into it, just go big. Don't go little like I did. I told them that I would probably upgrade this one to be the bigger one, but after that, I am not buying any more storage for LOL because if we fill that thing up, that is plenty because then we already have quite a few containers. But this is something that they love. They still love their LOL dolls. They have a lot of fun playing with. Even Lexi, she calls them all babies and she really likes playing with them too. But yes, I couldn't get away with not mentioning it, so is what it is. And the last favorite for them before the combined one that I'll talk to before we get into Lexi's is the Kiwi and Co boxes that my aunt gets them. So I obviously don't have any pictures of that, but 
I've talked about it before every year for Christmas in lieu of a bunch of Christmas gifts, my aunt gets them a year long subscription to Kiwi Co boxes. Now before they had different ones, Sophie used to get little passports, but we switched her to be Kiwi Co so that she had something similar to her sisters. And they still love them really love this idea in lieu of Christmas gifts, something that they get throughout the year and they know that this is from Bobo and they love it and they look forward to it. And they're a lot of fun. I definitely wanted to mention that because especially with us staying home more often the past month, I had a few of them saved up. Sometimes I'll just stack them up in my room and I'll let a couple of them collect for each of them. And then we'll just do one day of like endless activities with them all. And they were a huge help this past month of just like staying at home and not getting too bored. So the combined favorite for the girls, so the sixth one for the older girls and also the sixth one for Lexi is a shared one. And while it's technically not a favorite of theirs, it's a favorite of ours for them. So I'm gonna mention it. We've been on the fence about this for a long time and we just decided to go ahead and do it. It was just weighing on our minds. It was one of those things where we would rather have it than not have it. So we went ahead and we got the Life Vac. We actually got two of them. We got this one, which is the home kit. And we also got the travel one that we keep in the car. And that way we can give it to the grandparents when they spend the night or we just keep it in the car. So if we're out, but basically this is to help if a child is choking. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen similar videos online. If you haven't, if you go to any of their social medias, LifeVac, they will have actual videos of like parents who have submitted security cam footage or like whatever, having to actually use it on their children and saving their children's lives. So it's just a mechanism where you put it over their face and you're able to suction out basically whatever they're choking on therefore getting it out. It's one of those things where, you know, like, of course, this isn't one of the girls favorites. It's not like they play with it or anything, but it is something where we have thought about it a lot and we just finally decided to get one, which obviously these again are expensive. I hate that. I really feel like things like this should be a lot more affordable and more readily available to everyone. Like this isn't something that should cost money. It, it should be sent home with you when you have a baby, basically. You know, like it's just one of those things that could save a life. But honestly, it makes me feel so much better, especially when the kids are going to grandparents and stuff like that. Because even my husband who is trained in CPR and bloodborne pathogens, you know, shock does play a really big role, especially if it was your own child who was choking. The whole reason why we ended up buying this was because Mark, saw one of the videos that LifeVac had shared and it was of a couple of parents and the parents had said that they were both CPR certified, but they were literally just screaming for other people to help because they couldn't even think straight. They were just so concerned with their child. And I think that's a really realistic thing. Like that happens all the time when accidents occur, you know, like even if you have the most sound mind and a plan put in place, when you're in that moment, the shock of it could just really sideline all that. So having something like this, having one in our car, able to like pass that on to grandparents, keeping it in there in case we're at restaurants and stuff like that, whenever we can go to restaurants again, um, just makes us feel more at ease. So I just wanted to mention it because I know having that around the house and also in the car has made both of us feel a lot more at ease. It's one of those things that you hope you literally never have to use. And if it forever stays in here, sealed, brand new, I will be a very happy woman because it's just one of those things where you don't ever wanna have to use it, but it's there if you do need it. And I wanted to put it out there in case you had never heard of it before. The next favorite for Lexi is books. So I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly, but she is our kiddo who wants a book read to her every single night. Can't go to sleep without one. So I thought I would just show you four of her favorites. So we got Pika Who, classic. She loves the back page because it has a mirror silly goofy. She's been loving this one. This is a frequent that she has. It keep, pretty much stays in her bed. This is the book that I got her for Valentine's Day. And this is the silliest book. Let me get to this one page. Sophie loves reading this book and she'll read it to Lexi with Remy around and they all are just like giggling up a storm because it's the silliest, goofiest little book, but it is so precious. I love this author. They've written so many books. Here's the other ones down there. Hopefully it's focusing for you guys. There we go. But we have a few of these. 
can't recommend them enough. And then of course her ABC book, which is nothing new. If you guys want me to do a whole toddler book recommendation video, I definitely will. But I love the fact that this book has a lot of different occupations that typically aren't talked about. There's some that are traditional and some that are not. So I really enjoy this book, but she also loves it. Also another book that stays in her bed pretty much constantly. Two of her favorites that I cannot get because they're just too big wouldn't make sense. I'll just include pictures. The first one being the Paw Patrol track that she got for Christmas. My grandma got this for her and she loves it. So this is pretty simple. I feel like four and up kiddos probably aren't going to find this to be too much fun, but under four years old, it's totally age appropriate. It's simple enough with a few engaging things on it without being too, too much for them basically. And nothing too boring. So it's really easy for her to work as well. She can do everything on her own as far as like launching the little cars and closing up Mayor Humdinger's tower and stuff like that. She has the best time with this. It is the cutest little thing. She loves Paw Patrol. It's still her favorite. So this is a total hit. She plays with it every single day and sometimes even her sisters play with her too. And another gift she got for Christmas that she's been loving is this leapfrog ice cream cart stand. I don't know what they call it, but I actually asked you guys on Instagram if this was worth it because to me it looked like a ton of little pieces, which it is, and you guys 100% told me that, that there is a lot of pieces, they get everywhere, but that your kids loved it and I'm so glad that I listened to you because same. She has loved this thing. The parts definitely go all over the living room. I have to collect them. But the second I put that thing back together, she is on that thing in a heartbeat. She loves it. She has the best time with it. And I think it is a really great toy. Really great for a fine motor too. And then Lexi's last favorite, which I just forgot to grab. And if we're being completely honest, I just don't want to get off the couch and get it. So it is this family builders magnetic set. So we have had these for a really long time. I even put a whole review on my channel like a really long time ago if you've been around that long. But this is something that we've had in our family for years and she is thoroughly enjoying these. She uses them mainly on our fireplace. We don't ever use our fireplace, but it has metal on the outside and that's where the kids put them together. And she has been loving this, putting together the little people and making her own little combinations. The family builders, no matter what the set, are an amazing toy. They're open-ended. It's still one of my top toy recommendations to this day for this very reason. It's just an amazing company, an amazing toy, and Lexi has really been loving it. So that is everything for our February favorites. A lot of toys, a lot of games and stuff like that, trying to keep the kids busy while we stay at home during winter and hopefully COVID rates going down soon. I will link as much as I possibly can down below. You can leave your questions in the comments if you have any. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.